الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين صبي اسم ربك على الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج الملاء فجعله سماه سنبروك فلا تنشاء إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر ومن يكفى وان يسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنب الأشقى الذي يسر النار مخلوق ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفل من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل توسرون أيات الدنيا ولا خلة خير وعبكا إنا زال في سوف الأولى سوف إبراهيم وموسى سمي الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين عيدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين قل يا أيها الخافرون لا أعبد من تعبدون ولا أن تنابدوا ما أعبدوا ولا أنا أعبد ما أعبدوا ولا أن تنابدوا ما أعبدوا لكم دينكم واليدين الله سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله يا شيخنا الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين قل هو الله أحد الله السمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر خاصف إذا وكب ومن شر النفاسات بالخكم ومن شر الناس إذا قصد قل أعوذ برب الناس 
Allah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. 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 Assalamu alaikum wa Astaghfirullahaladzim <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناه ينفقون سرك الله العظيم بلما السلام بلما السلام عليكم السلام عليكم السلام عليكم سرك الله العظيم brothers and sisters we are in the month of Ramadan and we are winding down they're almost over the 20 limit of the month of Ramadan. And by the grace of Allah, we are winding down our today Salatul uh, Tarawi has been completed. And we finally finalize it with the uh, Salatul Witr, which is the three last uh, rakat. And we did that successfully. So my brothers and sisters, this is just to uh, show you how we can do uh, Salat al Witr, which is the three uh, rakats. And the way we do it, uh, that is exactly what we uh, show you today, uh, just for some of you to have an idea how to do the Salat al Witr. So, right now, the Ramadan is about to come to an end, inshallah. We are so happy today and we are so excited today. So, we are now in the month, in the moment where we set for uh, the day called uh, Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadri is the uh, odd days in the uh, month of Ramadan. This is the odd day in the month of Ramadan. It's like the 21st, the 23rd, the 25th, or the 27th, uh, likely the 29th. So my brothers and sisters, we use uh, this last odd days to uh, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that he can continue to forgive us our sin because Allah said in the Quran uh, that Bismillah rahman rahim inna anzalna fi laylatul qadr wa ma adira khama laylatul qadr laylatul qadr khayr min arfi shahr tanazzalu malaikat wa rufiha bi izin rabbihi min kulli amr Salamun hiya at matla il fajr. 
So the night of majesty, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that that night is so beneficial, is so holy. And what would make you to know what that night of majesty is, which is the night of Qadr, Laylatul Qadr. That night is a very powerful night. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, what will make you to understand what that night of majesty is? Is the night that is much, much more powerful. That one night is better than 1,000 uh, months. So my brothers and sisters, what will make us to understand that Laila to Qadr is a very uh, important day. So I would like for all you Muslims to please pay attention to that particular day. Uh, to pay attention to that particular day so that we can get nothing but the benefit because Allah has already said in the Quran. Allah said in the Quran, He gave us meaning of what the Laila to Qadr is. And it's past, so some people say the 21st day could be the 23rd, it could be the 27th, or the 25th, or the 27th. So we usually look for that day because it's considered as the holiest night of the year for every Muslim. And it is traditionally celebrated or particularly on the odd days, which is the 21st, uh, 23rd, 25th, and the 27th. So maybe probably 29th is when we usually have the Eid al Fitr, which is the prayer day. But this night is uh, known as a night of power, or you can call it a night of majesty. And, and it commemorates. Uh, the night that the Quran, the Holy Quran, was first revealed to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. So Laylatul Qadr is a very powerful night. Every Muslim take their time to look for that night. So we don't know what particular day may fall on, but we usually we look at the 27 or the odd days, the odd days. So my brothers and sisters, this day is very important. So the letter Qadr is a very powerful day, you know, in the Quran, it was the last 10 days and we are in that last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. So every Muslim is supposed to uh, treat that last 10 days as, uh, as, as a very holy, sacri sacrificial day and a very sacred day. So my brothers and sisters, we are using this medium to educate uh, our non-Muslim brothers that uh, Islam is very uh important and it's very easy to understand it's not hard and uh, we understand that most people are muslim and some are not but most of our friends who are muslim uh, they may not understand what uh, Laila to Qadri is all about but uh, we are always here to explain this to our brothers and sisters to let them know that the night of majesty we usually spend that entire night to keep praying to Allah so Allah can keep on to forgive us our sin so Allah can have mercy on us. Allah can be able to uh, uh, give us a reward uh, when that that's particular night when heaven is open. Allah will release His holy angels onto the wall and open uh, uh, Jannah, which is heaven, so that all our sin can be forgiven. Because we spend the whole thirty days in the month of Ramadan uh, to uh, to to fast, which is uh, keep ourselves from eating and from drinking anything fluid so that we can observe the holiness of Allah and remind ourselves about the uh, importance of our life and be spiritual and be very uh, drawn towards the will of Allah, which is Al-Islam. So my brothers and sisters, why are we always on here during this month just to en inform or educate or uh, enlighten some of our brothers who are not well uh, knowledgeable in on Islam. So Laylatul Qadri, it's a very powerful night. So my brothers and sisters, I would like for us to please take this night serious. Make sure you stay holy. Make sure you stay very clean and uh, stay away from uh, evil. Stay away from backbiting. Stay away from uh, gossiping. Stay away from uh, doing anything that is uh, evil at that Allah has said that we should stay away from. Because those who commit uh, evil, they got no other place with Allah but uh, Jahan. And those who come out do good things, got nothing but uh, uh, heaven. That's why Allah mentioned the importance of heaven in the Quran in so many places, in so many surahs. If you read the surah from Surah to Baqarah all the way down to Surah to Nas, you will see nothing in the Quran but uh, good news. That's why Allah said in the Quran, Surah to Baqarah, He said, 
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alif Lam Mim. Zalika al-Kitabu la Raiba fi Udalil Mutakin. And this is the holy book where Allah sent down to the Prophet Muhammad to lead, lead us so that we can understand. You know, this book is a book that guides us, it keeps us guided towards the right path. Allah said in the Surah al Baqarah, Allah Zina Yukminina Bil Khaibi, where you or Salat, and those who observe Salat, you know, and keep themselves holy, you know, they have not no other blessing but uh, heaven from Allah. So my brothers and sisters, the Quran is full of wisdom. The Quran is full of knowledge. All we need to do is read. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, is ikra. Ikra bismi rabbika lazi khalaq. Read in the name of your Lord who created us from nothing but clay. So brothers and sisters, why are we taking ourselves? Why are we being like a desiko? Why are we being last? Why are we being lazy? To stay away from reading the holy book of Allah, which is Al-Quran. You know, because the Quran got nothing but good things for us, my brother. Let us keep on uh, sticking to our Quran during this holy month of uh, Ramadan and remember Allah. You know, there's so many chap uh, so many chapters in the Quran uh, from Baqarah to Fat Surah to, to, to Nas. Like I keep on saying, if we keep on reading it, we'll get nothing but good blessing. So my brothers and sisters, you know, we'd like to always end up our conversation with Dua for our brothers and sisters out there. And uh, nothing but good dua. You know, every time we get on here, we make dua. We say, Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi al-akhirat hasanatan wa akina zabana. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi al-akhirat hasanatan wa akina zabana. What does that simply mean? When we make him dua like that, we we'll know that Rabbana is the name of Allah. We pray to Allah. Oh, oh Allah, Lord, the great the mastermind of the Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful. We seek for his blessing and we seek for His, for him to grant us with nothing but uh, good in this world, and give us the best in the hereafter. Akirati, Akira is like the hereafter. Allah must give us nothing but the best in this world and give us the best in the hereafter. Mm -hmm. So my brother says, why won't we pray like that uh, to our for ourselves and for our brothers uh, that are Muslim and that are not Muslim. So we always pray. We say, Rabbana, lakifirli alayna sabra tabita damana wa ansurna la laqabila kafirina. You know, we know whenever we pray like that, we pray for ourselves. May Allah protect us from the route of those who are unbelievers. You saw when I was observing my prayer, I read Surah to Kafirun. This is a Surah that when Allah sent down that Surah to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was basically telling the Prophet Muhammad that uh, the unbelievers, people that didn't believe in the message of Islam at that time and, and today, uh, Allah told Prophet Muhammad, said, look, uh, those who are going to embrace Islam, they will always embrace Islam. Those who will not embrace the religion of Islam, they will never embrace it. So Allah said, Gul, he says, say, Muhammad, say, Gul ya ayyul khafiruna, say, oh, you unbelievers. What do I worship? You will never worship it. Neither will I worship what you worship. Because those times, those unbelievers used to worship nothing but idol, deity. Like they would carve something and put it somewhere and bow down to it and say, That is their God. Prophet Muhammad Allah instructed him to say, Tell them, I will never worship what you worship. Neither will you worship what I worship. <laughs> then he said it twice. So I will never worship what you worship. Then he said, and then at the end of the at the end of the surah, uh, let me it say, your you keep your religious is yours, and man is mine. Then in the day of judgment, Allah will, will be the best judge. So my brothers and sisters, we are not trying to frown on any religion, but always trying to say that people should understand uh, religion and Islam, which is the absolute submission to the will of Allah. If we do understand that, and uh, we will be better off because Allah said in the Quran, we should try hard not to die, uh, except we are Muslim. So inshallah, we are born Muslim and we will uh, do everything possible uh, so that we can stay Muslim and stay to read and learn about our religion so that we can be able to convey the proper messages to our brothers and sisters out there who do not understand our religion in the right way. So my brothers and sisters, this is your brother Sharif. 
as always, we are here to make some dua for you. You know, every time brothers come on here, this is the time to make dua so that we can uh, seek Allah's forgiveness, so that we can seek Allah's blessing. Because that is his name, Rahman Rahim, the most beneficial, the most merciful. He can benefit us. He's very merciful. Whatever things sin we do, Allah is always there to have mercy on us and forgive us. So, Rabbana la tuak, la tuak is na in nasina awatana. You know, it's another dua we always do to Allah. You know, it's very, very important. That dua is very important too. So, my brothers and sisters, I want you all to master dua whenever you don't know how to make dua. Make sure you consult the Quran. The Quran has a lot of dua. If you cannot, make sure you go to the masjid to speak to imam or speak to some of the sheikh, which is one of our most learned men. They can always uh, teach you some dua, and those dua can stay with you as you memorize them and pray and make them for yourself and make for your family and make for your friends. So, uh, uh, my brothers and sisters, there are so many dua in the Quran, so many dua. We cannot finish the reading all the dua. You know, please take your time and uh, read them. Read them. There's so much dua, so many dua, man. Thousands of thousands of dua in the Quran. We cannot finish them in one day. So all we have to say, we have to pray to Allah. Allah is merciful. Allah is merciful. Allah has a great quality. That's why sometimes when we sit by ourselves, we need the protection of the Almighty God, Allah. That's why we shouldn't forget ourselves. We should always keep Ayatul Kursi, uh, the tip of our tongue, every time. We are somewhere driving or walking or doing anything in our life. I tell Kursi, you should always be at the tip of our tongue. We shouldn't forget ourselves. Uh, if you don't know how to say I tell Kursi, it's part of the surat, it's part of the uh, hayat in the in, the, in surat al Baqarah. You can find it there and you can learn it. And it's very, very pertinent, very, very important, very powerful. So, my brothers and sisters, we always seek Allah with that. We say Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Allah la ilaha illa huwa hayyul qayyum la ta'khuzu sinnatu wa la naw lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ardi man san lazi yasawu indahu illa bi isni ya lamma bayna aydihim wa ma khalifahum wa la yuithuna bi shay'in min ilmihi illa bi ma sha wasiya kursiyu samawati wal ardi wa la yahuzu hifsuhuma wa huwa aliyul azim sadakallahu lil azim so bismillahir rahmanir rahim brothers let's keep seeking for Allah's uh, blessing and keep seeking for Allah's protection. It's very important, especially during these uh, ten, last 10 days. We are now gearing towards the end of the month of Ramadan. And by the grace of Allah, um, we will keep searching for Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, the night of majesty, until we coincidentally you know, keep making dua, until our dua falls on that day. So my brothers and sisters, please, while you're out there, take your time. This is the last 10 days. Keep yourself holy. I know it's hard to spend all the 20 days fasting. And this last 10 days, let's keep it. Or last 9 days, let's keep it holy until it's over. And inshallah, Allah will make things better for us. So uh, it's your brother, Brother Sharif, in this holy month of Ramadan. Uh, we have so many dua, brother. I keep saying it, so many dua. We can keep doing dua day and night. There are people out there who have lost family members. You know, they've lost mother, they've lost their fathers, their parents have passed on, their beloved ones have passed. And Allah said, every time we sit by ourselves, we make this dua, Rabbana ikfirli wa walida ya warahamna ya rabbayana sokira. You know, we make dua for those, our deceased parents, so that Allah can keep forgiving them. Every time you say that dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is listening to you and inshallah, inshallah he will accept that dua and have mercy on your deceived parent that have passed you know we keep doing that dua it's very very important you know Rabbana la tajalna fitnatan lilla deena ka faru wa kfir lana Rabbana inna ka anta la azizun hakim so we should always keep doing dua that is making Allah to have mercy on us so many dua there you know, Rabbana la tuwa zik, la tu zik kulu bana, you know, la tu zik kulu bana, bada iz hadaitana wa hablana min ladun ka rahmatan itna ka antal wa hab. So, all those dua is there for us to keep, you know, praying for, uh, to Allah to have mercy on us, you know, so Allah can always forgive us our sin, especially during this uh, wonderful month of Ramadan, you know. Uh, so my brothers and sisters out there, I can finish calling all the dua out there for you today. This is the, the 
time, the last 10 days, we are looking for the night of majesty. So keep making dua for yourself and keep making dua for your community. Uh, like I do, you know, the Liman J Community Library Matingo Association in New Jersey. I keep making dua for them and uh, other communities like the Guinean community and the Malian community, Sierra Leonean community, as much as Nigerian community, you know, Burkina, Cote d'Ivoire, so many different communities from Africa. I keep making dua for those communities to be successful and be fruitful. So my brother, let's keep doing dua for each and every one of us. This, this is the beauty of Islam. When uh, Islam, when we make dua, the dua doesn't sound like uh, you're making it for yourself. That's what Allah making, <laughs> you know, so nice. You know, when we make dua, Allah make the dua sounds like for for everybody. Because when you make, when you pray for everybody, it comes back to you. So Allah, do, Allah doesn't want us to be selfish. That's why when we make dua, the dua comes back to each and every one of our members in our community, people that are non-members in our community, dua goes to them, except they are Muslim, uh, they are believer in Allah, because those who don't believe in Allah, I don't know what Allah can, Allah will do for them, that is between they and Allah, but we that have that feeling that Allah is our creator, uh, even though we don't see him, we believe in him. So my brothers and sisters, let's keep uh, the holy month of Ramadan, always perform it, don't uh, go astray, Allah said in the Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha, He said, Bismillah mm -hmm. rahim in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Ar-Rahman rahim that's his name, Malik Yawmi Din, he is the master of the Day of Judgment, Iyya kana abudu wa iyya kana sta'im, so this is Allah, we keep praising him in so many ways, Ihidina Sirat al you asking Allah to lead us on the right path, on the right path, the path, the right path. We asking Allah. That's why Fatiha is always read in this in, in, in Salat. Idina Sirat al Mustaqim. Oh Allah, lead us, guide us on the right path. Sirat al Lazina alayhim. On the path of those who hmm, you are happy with them. But not the path of those who your anger or your wrath. It's a point. Example, there's two paths. One path, there's some path that a lot of people are happy with, a lot is happy with them. Another path, a lot is mad at certain people too. So we are seeking a lot for that path to guide us on that path, on that way that his mercy is on us, not the path that his anger, his wrath is on us. So my brothers and sisters, that's why Fatih is all about. So we say, I mean, at the end of the day, that's why everybody behind the man will say, I mean. So, let us keep our self much educated and understand our religion. If you don't understand the Quran, it's not too late. You can always sit down with someone like the Sheikh, or you can sit with your husband, or with your brother, or with your sisters. They can read the Quran to you and explain to you. Or you can go to your next door Imam. So, brothers and sisters, this is what I have for you today. We are in the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan, or let me say the last 9 days, because Ramadan is here. It's either 30 or 29 days. So let us keep doing that, you know, and I'll say subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wala ilaha illallah, Allah wa akbar, Allah wa akbar, wala hawla, wala quwata, illa billah al-lazim, no rabbana admin lana, nurana wa akfir lana, inna ka la kulli shayin kadir, subhana rabbika rabbi li zat ama yasifun, wa salat wa salamu alayhi mursaleen, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So my brothers and sisters, happy, uh, Ramadan, which is Ramadan Karim, and uh, we are looking for Laila to Kadri. May Allah give us this Laila to Kadri uh, in a peaceful way, and may Allah accept our dua. We keep praying to Allah so that Allah can protect us away from so many evil things. Example like this evil uh, coronavirus. We're seeking Allah blessing. So let us keep praying. You know, a lot of dua out there we can do it. That Allah keep praying so Allah can protect us away from. Uh, such a evil, you know, deadly disease. All right, my brother. So, mashallah, we will see you next time. For those of you who want to join us, next time you can come and join our life. We are here, you know, every other day, not every day. You can join us if you want to join us uh, and be part of this conversation. If you have any question, I'm not an imam, uh, but I'm just. <laughs> trying to be as much helpful as I can. You know, I'm not 
uh, a sheikh. I'm not uh, the top wise man among everybody. I'm just trying to be humble with the little knowledge that Allah has blessed me with so that I can pass it on to you. So those of you who knows more can also take your time and pass more information out there too. So please, my brothers and sisters, anybody want to join us, our line is free. You can join us. I can see my beautiful wife and I can see uh, Saran Sharif, Madam Sharif. I can see Ami Bayo. I can see Nanette. So any one of you guys, ladies or gentlemen, wants to join us, please feel free to join us. We will be glad to take any question from you or take any idea from you. Uh, you guys can come on anytime. I can see my friend Alpha Jamel from Houston, Texas. Uh, if you want to join us anytime, please feel free to join us uh, so we can uh, enjoy this message of Islam together and convey it together. So, Masalam, Masalam, Masalam. See you again and see you again. Enjoy it and enjoy the Laylat of Qadr. Inshallah, we will meet Eid al Fitr, which is the celebration of the Eid. That's the holiday. We will meet, inshallah, on that day if they intend to open the masjid so we can all go and pray. Or if they say we can go in certain open field to perform our eat, inshallah, we shall meet there and uh, perform the eat. So, my brothers and sisters, that's what I have for you today, your brother, Brother Sharif. Uh, Masala. Thank you. See you later. Ciao, ciao.